What's up, Restoration Nation? This is Pastor Steve Harris coming to you from my barbecue pit there in my backyard. Um, good morning, everyone. I am filming this in the morning, so I'm still trying to get with it. I just got done doing a long walk, and my dogs are probably going to bark any minute now because uh, somebody else is coming by with a uh, set of dogs. But you didn't hear, uh, you didn't tap on this video to hear that. What I want to talk about this morning is, um, do you know that you're unique? You are unique. What do I mean by that? Well, I want you to take a look at my wardrobe here. I got a blue shirt on, right, with sweat, because I've been walking. And I got black shorts with green kind of tinge or fringe to it, okay? So my wife told me about that this morning. She's like, if you go anywhere, you're not color coordinated. And I was like, well, yeah, okay. But I just been taxi cab this morning, running everybody everywhere. So there's the dogs. Anyway, um, so the bottom line is this. I thought about what she said and I'm looking down at my wardrobe and uh, I'm seeing what's going on. And I'm thinking, who said that this was not acceptable? Who made up the rules? Like, if my stepson ever watches this, he used to have, um, I used to call it the tag inspector in school. And he would make sure, because he wanted to be cool, he would make sure that everything that he got was authentic. So in other words, if he got an NFL jersey, it had to have an NFL tag on it. Well, if you're familiar with the NFL, an NFL tag on it adds at least $100 to a shirt plus all the other costs and things like that. I said to him, I said, unless you can get me uh, to a store where we can get that kind of stuff for the same price as normal people, you're not getting it. So we used to go to the Franklin Mills Mall, which is in uh, Pennsylvania, and we would buy stuff there. It was like a big outlet stores and all, um, kind of mall, and we would find them. And so I said, okay, I'm willing to do that. Nowadays, I could probably go online and save myself a lot of time, but back then, you're going back oh, at least 15 years ago, that's what we did. So here's the thing. God made us unique. There is nobody with our DNA um, that, that he has put here that are identical, even with identical twins. Um, just, uh, it's kind of like, when you look at like the whole uh, opposite sock thing that's going on these days with kids, and my kids are one of them that they wear, it's colorful, it's, it's the in thing to wear socks that are two different socks, they even sell them that way now. There was a time where that wasn't. And so now all of a sudden, somebody decided it was cool. So here's what I want us to kind of sum up with this whole um, uh, devotional. Be you, be unique, um, be who God called you to be. And if you want to pull your socks all the way up to your knees, like I do occasionally and get the looks then do it, who cares? If you, if today was your last day on earth, who would really care anyway? Right. Um, you like singing certain songs and as long as they're not bad, but there's certain songs that are kids songs, or whatever, or people look at you because you like star Wars or whatever. So what? You're, these people are not going to be around, you know, your life forever. And even if they are and they're relatives, God forbid, you know, like you, you're going to live your life to them or you're going to live your life to you and to God ultimately. There were many people in the Bible who were oddballs. They were people that nobody would think they would have any kind of like, you know, uh, authority or popular or whatever. And I mean, you look from Joseph to Moses to Elijah to David to Paul, all these people, I mean, it, it would be like the least that you would think. All kinds of like descriptions of them. Even Jesus himself was not described as some handsome hunk that everybody went, oh, I got to follow him, you know. Um, he was an average dude. He didn't look super spectacular. He wasn't Elvis Presley or anything like that. So to wrap it up, I want to encourage you, live your life the way you need to. 
And if you go out uncolored, uncolored coordinated or whatever, so what? You know, maybe some people actually catch on to it, have a company like they did with the, 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 the two sock thing and they make money off of it. Or maybe it's you. So either way, guys, go have an awesome week. And remember, be unique. Be yourself. God bless you.